Hi guys, it's Rose.com and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, I am back again for another daily vlog. So yes, I know I didn't do one yesterday because <laughs> quite frankly, right, I just couldn't be bothered to do one. I had a really lazy day yesterday. I'll just give you a simple debrief on what happened so you kind of know what I spent yesterday doing. I took the car in for an MOT yesterday and I went for a lovely walk with the family along the beach. I saw the really nice sunset, it was actually really nice and then we came back in the evening um, and we kind of just spent it as a family, relaxing really, which was a nice day. But today however, I feel like, do you know what, today is going to be a really good day, the weather is great, um, you know the weather's like nice and sunny now, it has been for a couple of days, so yeah, I've got the feeling that today is going to be a great day, so first of all, we're going to go and pick up the car from the MOT and then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you guys how to make some masks. But first of all, so I'm going to shout out to at Felicity for now on Instagram, go and check her out, um, has done such a wonderful thing. She's made a cake, I mean there's not much left of it now, she's made a spice cake for everyone down our road um, and has called it a community cake, which is I think is generally a really nice thing to do, because um, we have quite a few vulnerable people down our road, so she's out now delivering that, obviously she didn't want to be on camera, um, which is up to her, but I can't, I can't force her to be on camera, um, but yeah, so we she made a cake for everyone that's vulnerable down the road, which is quite a nice thing to do. So I kind of wanted to give her a little shout out to you, Felicity, because you're the kind of people in this world that we need and we need more of them. So yeah, good for her. So anyway, let's get back to the video. So basically my mum thought it would be a great idea to put wet and dry dog food together now our dog's been sick everywhere and it's literally disgusting um there's felicity just kind of putting the dog food onto the yeah thanks for having <laughs> <laughs> it's all right we'll do it all for you on felicity <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> literally just got soaked <laughs> everywhere <laughs> So basically guys, because I'm considered as a vulnerable person, I did forget to tell you that I cannot go and pick up my car from MOT because I can't go out. My dad did drop it down and my mum's going to pick it up. So in the meantime, I'm probably just going to do a bit of studying because I'm studying a degree at the moment. So I'll probably just do a bit of that and then make some masks. So yeah, let's go and revise. I've literally just come back from revising for my degree. Now I'm at the table with mum and mum is going to show me and you guys at home how to make one of these masks to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Now we do have to say that they're not medically... Um, yeah, medically filtered. They're, they're not medically filtered. Stop germs. They're just, yeah, they're just to help stop germs. But this is how you guys can make them at home. So let's go. So we've just got two bits of material, uh, one would be the top which would be the outside which would go like that and one would be the, um, the bit that goes to the face which would go like that. I've used um, muslin for the inside because it's comfortable and you can wash it and just any old scrap of material that you might have lying around. Um, measure 9 inches by 6 inches, two pieces of uh, flat elastic. Um, it's been advised that you cut those at 7 inches but obviously if you've got a smaller face or um, that they end up being a little bit too long you could always put a knot in so first thing to do right sides together that's so that means that side which is the the, the right side of the pattern and that side um, it just so just pop you're going to sew them together so we're just going to pop them underneath the sewing machine you need to, to um, leave a little gap so I'm going to show Florence how to do it and then you'll see if she if she's yeah, listens. Make sure that yeah. you're good. Oh! 
Oh my <laughs> God. Sorry, that's right. Someone at the door. Could you go and let Felicity in, please? While I carry on. <laughs> no. She's waiting at the door for us. It is. is. Crap craft. <laughs> right. Okay. This is for. It's slightly lopsided, oh. but. Right, so we're going to go all the way down. Oh, I've unplugged the sewing machine to put the iron in, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, hold fire. This is when you need a double PowerPoint. Right. Oh my goodness, look at me, I'm absolutely covered. Right. It's because, oh, oh. Oh, the sewing machine's now jammed. This, you see, this doesn't happen on sewing bee. I love sewing bee. Oh, on. oh, I might run out. I've run out of thread. So, guys, this is my mum's finished product on the mask. Um, there's the cover that just goes over your face like this over that ear and then over the other ear. And there you go, you've got one homemade mask to protect you from any germs so if you did like today's vlog you guys know what to do like comment or subscribe to my channel for more daily vlog videos thank you very much for watching we all do really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next vlog mm -hmm.